throughout Western and Eastern cultures, the pineal gland has always been associated as the seat of the soul. The body is the temple of the soul, and the pineal gland is the place at which the spirit interlinks with the matter. And in my research, I've been finding that this is literally so. It started with meeting actually an American in St. Louis who was doing postgraduate work in psychoactive plants. He'd been down in the Amazon area staying with the Hivaro tribe. And he had got shots of them preparing ayahuasca or yahe as it's called. And he showed me lots of reports that said that this vine was used specifically to induce psychic experiences for healing work, for shamanistic work going out of the body, joining with the spirit guides, to look into the future, to have clairvoyance, to see what's happening in another time and space. Which is like the old oracle powers of, of the Delphi oracle or the priestesses within the temple. It's the same shamanistic goddess priestess function. But here was a vine that was specifically being used for that. And in my research, I found that the active constituent of this vine is a chemical that is virtually identical to one made by the pineal gland. So in other words, the pineal gland right here in the center of our brain, if you take a line above the ears, from the forehead, down from the center, that's where it's located, yes? Right there in the center. This little gland, which is about the size fingernail, the tiny fingernail, makes a hallucinogen. It makes a hallucinogen that takes us into a state of consciousness that is really the dream state. It's thought that in its natural function, it's the trigger for dreaming. Every night, we go into an altered state of consciousness. Every night, we go into a state that some people believe is our soul journeying into the astral plane. Most people of psychic experiences have them when they're dreaming. When they dream of somebody who's died or they dream of something that's going to happen. Most people's psychic experiences are dreaming. And it's thought that it's the pineal gland making this chemical that does it. Now, this was the core finding. The core finding that the pineal gland makes a hallucinogen. We all hallucinate. We all go into a state of consciousness that for me is the collective unconscious. This psychic state is the collective unconscious, which is that consciousness of the planet, what's called the chthonic mind, the mind of the earth. Because all peoples, all races, all tribes from the past and right around the world have myths and legends which use symbols and archetypes which are identical. Identical. Every human being experiences this state of consciousness, which is the dream mind that symbolic, archetypal, exemplified by fairy tales, or the creation myths and legends of all the different peoples. The symbols of them are the same, and to me that is the consciousness of the earth speaking through us. <laughs>